This video is about cut vertices in graphs. So we're going to do two important things. First of all, we're going to define a cut vertex in a graph. And next, we'll go through the proof of a characterization of what makes a vertex a cut vertex. So let's start off with a little bit of motivation. I'm going to draw three graphs up here in different colors, and they all have four vertices. Notice that the blue one on the very left is connected. The next one in the middle, the green one, is disconnected. But finally, the one on the right, it's connected, but we might notice something. It can easily be made disconnected if we just remove a vertex, vertex D. Notice that if we remove vertex D, then vertex C will be in a different component than A and B. Now that's a cool property. Notice that the leftmost graph does not have that property. If you were to remove a single vertex there, the graph would still be connected. So this tells us that there is an important feature happening in the rightmost graph. Let's define it. A vertex in a graph is called a cut vertex if the graph without that vertex has more components than it did before, i.e. the number of connected components of G minus V is bigger than the number of connected components of G. The notation that I'm using here, C of G, represents the number of connected components of the graph G. You should notice that sometimes the notation K of G is used to denote the same thing. Now that we know what a cut vertex is, let's get some practice finding them. So here I'm going to draw two graphs, and we're going to have to find the cut vertices in the graphs. Let's take a look at the graph G on the left. Well, the only cut vertex in that graph is the vertex at the top, which is adjacent to all the other three. If I remove it, then I get three components, whereas before I only had one connected component. If I was to have removed one of the bottom vertices, it wouldn't have disconnected the graph. So that's the only cut vertex in it. Now let's take a look at the bigger graph and we'll see if we can find all of the cut vertices. Again, we have to take a look at every vertex and determine that if we were to remove it, would it increase the number of connected components? Now currently the graph is connected, so we're asking will it disconnect the graph? And there are only three ones that will do it, these three highlighted in red. Those are the cut vertices. Now that we're familiar with cut vertices, we can talk about a characterization of what makes a vertex a cut vertex. So in other words, we're going to prove this theorem, that a vertex in a graph is a cut vertex if and only if there exists two more vertices, u and w, such that our vertex v lies on every u, w path in the graph. So how will we prove this? Well, first of all, in our proof, we are going to assume that G is a connected graph. The reason why we can do this is because if G is disconnected, all we do is we look at each of the connected components in turn and run the exact argument on each component, and you'll get the same result. So overall in this proof, we're going to be assuming G is connected. So let's think about one direction of the proof, which is we will take a vertex V to be a cut vertex. Our aim is to show that then there will exist two vertices such that our vertex lies on every path between them. Since V is a cut vertex, G without V is disconnected. So now what we can do is we can take a look at G without V and say, okay, there's at least two connected components. I'm going to let U be a vertex in one component and W be a vertex in a different component. So let's start drawing what we know. We have our vertex V, and then we have at least two components, and we'll put U in one of them and W in the other. Now, U and W being in different components of G without V means that there cannot exist any U, W paths in G minus V. But our graph G was connected, so there do exist U, W paths in our original graph. Therefore, all of those paths must have gone through that vertex that we removed, V. So if you were to draw in any old paths, they would have to go through vertex V. And that's exactly what we were looking for. We've found two vertices with that property. All right, that's the first direction of the proof. So now let's think about the other direction. For the other direction, suppose that there exist two vertices, U and W, which are not equal to our vertex V. And we know that every UW path has V on it somewhere. Okay, well, let's think about what that means. If I was to remove vertex V from the graph now, there can no longer be any U, W path. We already know that it had to go through V. Well, that means that there's no path from U to W, which means that there are at least two components. The graph is disconnected. 
And that's exactly what we know. We've gone from a connected graph to a disconnected graph. We've increased the number of components. So that means that V is a cut vertex. So that direction is also pretty straightforward. That means that we've concluded the proof and we can put the square. In the next video, we're gonna take a look at how many cut vertices a connected graph possibly could have. So stay tuned for more.